Hi, I'm Glenn Villar of Rain Access Solutions. Welcome to my vlog. As observed, the Nayafa NF-858C stable tracing function will fail if you're tracing signal on a CAT5 cable with over 37 meters in length. Take note that I'm using the alligator clip that comes with it to send out signal and did not use an RJ45 terminated cable for the said observation. If we are using a pure copper coated CAT6 cable, then the cable tracing function will probably work on cable over 60 meters in length. I measured this distance to be over 34 meters. I'm not saying that the Nayafa NF-858C's cable tracing function is a total failure over CAT5 in such a short distance, but perhaps other factors like the cable being bundled together with other wires in a conduit and having interference when the cable went through high voltage wires can also affect the signal. As you can see here, I unplugged the telephone from the biscuit jack and inserted the cable and connected it to the Nayafa cable tester. Set the function to scan and connect the telephone wires to the scan port. Adjust the volume knob and switch the button, lever button down. These are the cables that I'm going to trace. These are for telephone wires. Now I only have one wire left and I've already traced all of those um, terminated ones. Now this remaining one cable is what I'm talking about. The scan function will fail over 40 meters in a CAT5 connection. As you can see, I'm not, I'm not hearing any loud tone when I'm doing the scan. Another solution to this problem is by using a multimeter. We will be using the continuity function to find or trace our cables. At the other end of the cable, you must short the two wires that you are trying to find. So I'm going to short these two wires together. Once the wires are shorted on the other side, switch your multimeter down to the continuity mode. Now all you need to do is touch it, touch both wires with the probe. Make sure you test it first before you use it. As you can see, it's working. Now we're going to try it to the wire itself. There you go. Now that you confirm that the two wires that you shorted earlier is the correct wire through this continuity mode, then you can go ahead and clip those wires together now. If you don't have a multimeter at hand, then you can use the Nayafa's continuity function. 
you will need the warm up option for this. It comes with the Nayafa 858C. Connect the telephone wires to the warm up accessory. And leave it there. Now we will have to go to the other end of the cable. You will need to strip the tip of the two wires that you will be testing with the continuity mode. Just remove a bit of the covering on the wire strand. Bend the tip a bit so that the alligator clip will fasten good on it. Now get the Nuyafa main uh, unit. Connect the alligator clips to the RJ45 port and connect both probe to the wires. Now open the Nuyafa main unit and we're going to select the continuity function. So we're going to use the VNC mode first and click start. Now you will see that the wires 1 and 2 have a line going from up to down. It means that it is connected. Now you can also use the CAT5 mode and click start. It's going to show you exactly which um, or one number are connected. You can change also the continuity mode to one is to one. Now you can also change the type to cat six and click start. It will also show you the same. Now these wires are correct because we are only testing for two wires, which what which is what the telephone needs so i'm going to remove the nuya for main unit now and um we can now proceed with terminating this end with our um uh, ui connector So there you go. If you guys find this video useful, please subscribe and like my post. Thank you for watching.